Hello to all the beautiful souls watching. Thank you so much for clicking on this pick up art video. This one is going to be all about um, who is coming towards you and this is going to be like a new love type of reading. So if there's new love coming in for you like in the upcoming period of your life. So I'm going to be tapping into that and we got three options again choose with your gut and intuition and um yeah choose the ones that you're being drawn to the most um the first option is the nightingale spirit the second option is the antelope spirit and the third option is the brown bear spirit um take a deep breath and calm down close your eyes and relax now open your eyes and see which are the um which are the options that you're being drawn to the most and yeah you can definitely choose more than one and the timestamps are going to be given in the description box below and without further ado let's hop into the first option which is the nightingale spirit okay so um if it was an option number one was the nightingale spirit these are the cards i got for you i got the sun card I got the Eight of Spears, which is the Eight of Wands. Um, then I got the Nine of Spears, which is the Nine of Wands, and the Lovers card, and the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, the message on your card, uh, which is the Nightingale Spirit, is love is all around. And the first thing I'm sensing right away for you guys, someone could be a Leo. Someone could have their sun sign in one of the fire signs. And... Um, I'm also sensing that your future spouse is going to be someone who is going to be like you um, in regards to value. So if you are a bit spiritual, if you are probably um, like you're intuitive, I don't know, if you are inclined towards a particular art, I would say, or like you have, you have a strong inclination towards something, it could be any kind of faith to be honest and it does not have to be spiritual or anything but it could be spiritual for some people um i'm sensing that your future spouse is kind of going to be on the same plane like when you're going to meet this person you're going to have a lot of topics to talk about you will have a lot in common this person is going to be someone you can have conversations um uh, with for hours and hours on end and this is yeah this is someone you totally bond with um you're going to have great compatibility with this person and this is someone people don't really feel compatible with because they're sometimes a bit like um stubborn i would say someone could be a taurus uh yeah i know why i came why it came up like that i don't mean that okay i'm not meaning anything but yeah um someone could be like a taurus and um very intellectual person i see um yeah you know what um you both have kind of similar tastes in probably music and like art and the things you like maybe like same type same type of movies maybe your genres and uh, like you know you like science fiction and they also like science fiction if you like um yeah maybe you like the movies or the shows with vampires and they do too so it's going to be something of that sort if that makes any sense that you both are going to be very much similar you know it might not seem in the beginning if it if it feels that you know uh oh we're not the same at all or something like that, just stick and just have like a like conversations you know and just see for like let it flow naturally for like a week or something and you'll see what i'm trying to say over here so that's what i mean by that I'm also sensing that someone, um, someone is working too much, um, yeah, someone is working towards their pentacles, I see, someone is very much focused upon their finances as of now, and, um, let me see, yeah, this person does something at night, or you do, I don't know, someone does something at night and you come in this person's dreams or you will if you have not met this person yet and 
is this person already thinks about you i know what you guys got going maybe you already are in some kind of relationship but um yeah you know what i also see the back and forth communication happening between you both so that's another thing i'm sensing and this is a very balanced relationship this is going to give all those good vibes you know those relationships which really make your heart so warm and fuzzy and just make you so happy like this is exactly that kind of relationship it's like very cute yes i see that and it's going to feel very hopeful and optimistic and everything is just going to seem really good and if you've had like any bad past experiences Oh my god, this not don't even compare. Comparing is probably the worst thing you can do. The worst. So don't even do that. Um I know some people have been waiting for a long time. Um yeah, they've been waiting for so long. And now finally you're going to get like um someone's going to come towards you. New love is going to enter your life and it's like an offer is going to be made towards you. and this is going to um clear up i don't know what kind of doubts do you have you have a lot of conflicts in your brain right now which i don't really know what are they about but you have a lot of conflicts going on or your person does maybe you're just um you're just in the state of dilemma about love and relationships i don't know but like is there is a lot of mental conflict going on in someone's head and um it's going to be cleared up pretty soon however it's 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 something which has been in your head for quite a long time or whoever is dealing with it so it could be a scorpio someone could have their sun in scorpio i see yeah and that's another thing for some people uh, number 3 is quite significant i know like yeah number 3 is quite significant um your relationship is going to be one of those um fiery you know it's going to be very fiery um like someone's name starts from a j wait yeah someone's name starts from a j and an e also i hear c so yeah, that's another thing i'm just saying however it's like one of those relationships you know which are like um very fired up i see and um yeah number 3 is quite a lot significant number 4 also so if you see these like in repeated forms um these are messages from your guides and i'm also hearing someone is um committing for back and um someone has been in a lot of casual relationships in the past yes um someone is afraid of commitment i see yes exactly yeah and one of you loves commitment so it's like this thing is a bit like yeah it's a bit like i know different in you both i'm also hearing like someone has a lot of options or someone used to have a lot of options i don't know i just see that someone has a lot of options so either this person like is charismatic or you are very confident and charismatic i don't know one of you like you know you just yeah you're like very out there and yes that is like it attracts a lot of people towards you or towards this person whoever they are yeah and whoever this person is who used to be commitment phobic or um they still are they are getting out of that phase and this person is actually realizing that now they need a solid commitment and yeah they're just kind of like done with yeah they're just done with any other kind of relationship they just don't want to do that anymore so yeah um that's what i'm sensing for you guys and 
if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up that would really truly mean a lot to me and also um subscribe down below if you haven't already and do keep in mind that such generators is not gonna resonate with every single one of you and if you do wish to book a personal meeting with me you can do so by emailing me and my email is given in the description box below thank you so much once again for watching hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time Okay, so um, if you chosen option number second or the antelope spirit, these are the cards I got for you. I got the justice, ace of swords, um, page of swords, king of cups, and the magician at the bottom of the deck. And the message on your card is life is speeding up. So I feel someone is going to be a Libra. Someone could be a Libra. Um, someone is going to be a water sign. Um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, I feel Cancer, no, I, I don't know why I said Cancer, but someone could be a Cancer then, um, however, someone is going to be a Scorpio, yeah, there you go, um, yes, I do feel that, let me see, I also feel that someone's going to be an Aries, someone has like a, um, how do I say, oblong face shape or like an oval face shape um whatever kind of face shape they have um their face kind of tapers down to a narrow chin i see someone's going to be fair skinned i see pale yeah someone's going to be pale um beautiful eyes someone has beautiful eyes straight hair um Yeah, that's what I see. So it's going to have like a slim build to their body and very active. This person is very active. Um, whoever they are, this person is good looking for sure. And if they stand out in a room or whatever place they're in, this person literally stands out from everybody else. It's like if they're in a room, people don't really notice anybody anybody else i don't know why yeah but like they really catch everyone's attention they're that kind of a person someone wears something in their neck i see yes and okay yeah that's what i'm saying i'm sensing and um okay someone just had like a realization recently about about love i guess or about dreams yeah someone just had a realization and it just opened up some gateway or like some path maybe you thought that you should go this way or that way you were probably confused and now you know which way to go um yeah for some people you're going to meet your soulmate um very very soon yeah i feel that you both have a very strong um connection either it's going to be like a karmic connection or you both are meant to eat meant to like meet each other in this lifetime i feel yes um you both have like a you have connection with animals i see Someone has connection with animals. Maybe this person does as well. Um, yeah. I see intense sexual attraction also. Um, yeah. When it comes down to deciding between you and something else, which actually is going to be a scenario. Okay. So when you meet this person, there's going to come a point in your relationship when you no when your person would have to choose between like i have to say this but like between you and something else maybe it's their career or um i don't know what this is but they're going to choose you yes um this person is insanely i don't know who this is but someone is insanely attracted to the other person person's body i see specifically um it's like cravings you know I can see like oh my god yeah it's like heating up cravings cravings this person has yeah 
Ooh, someone's going to be a soulmate of yours. Yeah, actually, you both will have a soulmate connection. Yes, and um, is this relationship is going to feel like home? How cool is that? Someone has been single for a long time already. I see, like, yes, this is like a long time. Because they don't like casual dating. Somebody does not like the concept of casual dating, I feel. And they just, yeah, love is love and relationships are like very serious things for someone. And they can't even imagine to mess around with these things i don't know why i feel it's completely opposite to the first pile you know we just had so opposite of that and um yeah this person oh my god whoever you're meeting this person may look tough on the outside but they're not trust me they're not this person is not they're like very soft and like very sensitive and like um they themselves are finding their way in like you know they're navigating their way in love and relationships and stuff like that so it's very pressurizing for them as well don't expect too much in the very beginning because it might become troublesome i mean this is going to grow into something very beautiful over time but yeah in the beginning just don't put too much pressure on it because this is beautiful you both do have like a um you know what you're gonna make this person so happy let me just say it this person is um you can see it in their eyes you know when you're going to meet this person oh my god it's yeah this is so emotional you will make this person emotional and they will realize that they've never been so happy oh my god yeah it's like you both are so perfect for each other yeah it's, yeah it's so good so good someone likes to wear black yes someone likes to wear like um, leather jackets someone likes those I see some probably has them in their collection also I'm hearing um, and let me see someone is quite well off in regards to finances like so well off um someone used to be very confused in regards to what they should do in their life maybe this could be about love this could be about your profession yeah the career or what i know um but oh okay someone used to um or someone still does they wonder about a certain opportunity that they want to have but they're not able to they're not getting that so i see that the person is probably facing some sort of like disappointment um in regards to finances someone is doing quite well above way 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 above their expectations um yes exactly and let me see yeah um okay another thing i'm sensing for you guys is um now this may sound cliched but your person is going to be a mirror to you so especially in regards to feelings you know so um i feel there's not going to be that imbalance and that is probably a good thing in this relationship you know it definitely is not going to be the unrequited love type of situation however this is going to be very someone has an accent i feel like a different accent than yours um when this peak and yeah i yeah i'm sensing that your person and you you both are going to be mirrors to each other and in a sense that you both are going to be on the same page yeah there you go so um that's all i'm sensing for group number two um 
If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and also um, subscribe down below if you haven't already. That would really truly mean a lot to me. And if you do wish to book a personal reading with me, you can do so by emailing me. And my email is given in the description box below. Thank you so much once again for watching. Hope you all have a lovely day. Bye. See you guys next time. Okay, so um, if it is in the last pile or the third group, which is the brown bear spirit, the message on your card is take time out. And the number is number nine. I got the knight of spares, the death card. And by the way, knight of spares is the knight of wands. And I got the hermit. Ten of Swords and the Three of Spares at the bottom of the deck. Right away, I'm sensing that someone's going to be a fixed sign: um, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and um, Aquarius. Yes, um, someone's going to be a Scorpio for sure. Um, someone has just recently gone through a transformation. Um, I also feel that someone is going to be like, um, okay, someone recently got out of a relationship, um, or if this is not recent, the after effects are quite prolonging, I would say, however, if this is recent, then someone just went through some sort of an ending, oh my god, this is a relationship. For sure someone just recently had a breakup and this is okay this type of breakup is like very rare um, not rare but like it's not that usual and what I got is my guides are saying that this is irreversible and this is something which like it cannot be fixed whatsoever like you know if these two people try to come back to each other in the future it just cannot work out like it just cannot so whoever their exes or your exes whoever is going through this breakup or whoever just went through this breakup um, that relationship is something which just cannot be fixed like it's just it just cannot be um, if this is not a relationship this could be a situation which has completely ended you have just cut all the cords you know uh, you just left it in the past it could be any type of relationship to be honest like it could be a friendship or something like you know some sort of a situation yeah i'm sensing that um someone likes perfumes i'm sensing yes someone has like a um short and stubby fingers i feel and yeah, someone has short and stubby fingers and like fleshy, I feel. Um, let me see. Um, someone had some sort of a drastic change in regards to their diet or the way this person um, work out, I guess. I don't know. Their body kind of changed. A lot in the recent past I would say yeah that is something yeah whatever this um, transformation was that I was talking about like this ending someone's health got affected by it massively um, and now they're getting back on track and they're trying to rebuild themselves it's almost like this whoever your person is something happened in this person's life which like completely broke this person like shattered you know and um oh my god yes whoever this person if this is you then um your person is going to come and like put all the pieces together and they're going to support you a lot and if this is them you're gonna do the same for them yeah um I'm also sensing something happened in 2017, something significant for some people, and I believe 2019, 2017 and 2019, I don't know what happened in those years for you guys, but one of you, someone went through something during these two years, 
um, or something. These two years were just too significant for you. Um, I'm hearing. Okay. Um, someone's going through that healing phase, or someone just went through that phase. I feel. Yes. A long wait. I see someone's been waiting for a long time and okay um, if you're in a dysfunctional relationship it's a message okay I don't know who this is for but like if you are in a dysfunctional relationship get out of that yes if you're not single right now this will not apply to you. I don't know why my guides are doing this, but like they're giving me some messages regarding someone specific who's watching this file. If you are in a relationship which is dysfunctional, I will repeat that again because my guides are literally saying to me uh, that you are not gonna meet this person unless you get out of that relationship and you need to. You know, um, I listen to the song, I think it's. Uh, I believe it's it's by Florence the machine um, I don't remember the name of the song I don't remember the name what's the name um, I don't remember yeah shake it out yeah it's shake it out so listen to that song by Florence the machine um, there is a very hopeful future towards you uh, so, sorry what um, there's a very hopeful future waiting for you like on the horizon however you're not gonna get to that unless you cut some things out of your life and you know what to cut out so don't be like oh like what is it you know exactly what to eliminate from your life that needs to be eliminated but you have been keeping it in your life for a long time and now it's time to get that out and as soon as the clutter is going to be out you need to clear out the clutter as soon as that is going to be done you're going to like move into this state and you're going to be vibrating at a plane when where you will attract someone who is going to be an equal to you worthy of you and yeah it's it's going to be beautiful someone is okay one of you is going to be slimmer okay um my guides are saying that one of you is going to be slimmer like it's going to have like a slim build however the other person is going to be a bit bulky uh a bit um on the healthier side healthier spectrum um yeah someone's been waiting for a long time okay you really have a problem overthinking. You have a problem of overthinking or someone does, don't you? Get out of your head. Yes. Just take action. You're not taking action, I feel. And yes, you need to do that. And once you do it, I think things are going to be cleared up. If you're a fire sign, um, you're going to meet your... No, this is very specific. I don't know who it pertains to, but my guides are saying if you are a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius, and your moon and rising, and maybe even your sun, we can say, but like moon and rising more, um, you are going to meet your perfect counterpart very, very soon. Okay? Very, very soon. Um, yes, this is amazing. actually and this person is coming towards you someone's going to be an aries this person is coming towards you there's going to be high difference between you both someone has like a baby face and the other person has like a oblong and like a bit like um someone could be a sagittarius someone could be an aries by the way and someone has like a how do i say um oblong faced oblong shaped face yeah there you go i don't know why am i like um yes so much for words in my head 
like crazy. Um, also, someone could have an oval shaped face. I, you know, I got this for group number one as well. So you might want to check that out. Um, yes. Um, there was going to be a Leo for sure, definitely, definitely, no doubt about that. I feel someone has a heart shaped face or like a baby face. Also, I'm saying. Um, you guys are oh my god this could very well be a future spouse if you already met this person okay um you know you know okay here's the thing if you're a fire sign your person's going to have fire somewhere significant in the birth chart if you're an air sign i don't know if this applies to air signs but i would just keep it to fire signs for now um but something about a fixed sign or a fire sign if you have that in a birth chart your person is gonna have that too and that is a very significant sign for you guys um, and if you are, are in a relationship of that sort I would say stick to it because um, this could very well be a future spouse to be honest this could be the one this could be this could be your soulmate this could be your twin flame and twin flames are rare so if you have like met your twin flame just take by it you know stick by them it's beautiful honestly um yeah so that's all i'm sensing for you guys and um if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up that would really truly mean a lot to me and also subscribe down below if you haven't already and do keep in mind that such general readings is not gonna resonate with every single one of you in its entirety so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me, you can do so by emailing me. And my email is given in the description box below. Um, so yeah, with that, we come to the end of this video. Hope you all have a lovely day. Bye. See you guys next time.